Goes back, Mr. Biggs. Thank you. You know, Mr. Secretary, Mr. Chairman, my, my constituents aren't worried so much about mean tweets as they're worried and concerned about the impacts of the crisis on the border. So, under your leadership, DHS issued guidance uh, that included using, for CBP agents and officers to use gender neutral language and politically correct pronouns. Is that true? Um, did I issue a memorandum to that effect? Is that what you're guidance. asking? Guidance. Did you, DHS uh, issued guidance? Um, uh, I'm not sure what piece of guidance. Um, DHS.gov. If I, if I may, uh, to what uh, guidance you're referencing, uh, but that does reflect the principles uh, that we are proud to advance. Okay, so, so you don't recall issuing the guidance. I'll, I'll, issue, I'll, I'll send that into the record without objection. Um, so that objection. You also ordered CBP and ICE to stop using the term alien, including scrubbing websites, guidance, documents, and other materials. Is that true? Uh, so, uh, to be precise, uh, unless, unless the individuals are referencing the statutory language itself, uh, we are using the term non-citizen to reflect the dignity of each individual. All right. So, um, I'll, I'll introduce uh, three articles that support that statement as well. Did you tell the Conference of Mayors that unlawful presence in the United States will alone not be a basis for immigration enforcement actions? The, the September 30th um, enforcement guidelines that I promulgated, uh, Congressman, um, uh, make a number of different statements with respect to two very core principles. Number one is uh, okay. the safe, uh, excuse me, uh, the safe and effective use of limited resources. Please, please hurry. And, and the fact that many individuals who are unlawfully present in the United States have been contributing members to this country, so, and our resources should not be. So, are you denying to that on them. January 20th, 2022, you told U.S. Conference of Mayors the following: that unlawful quote, unlawful presence in the United States will alone not be a basis for an immigration enforcement? I'm action. not denying that. What okay, I am, great. Thank what you. I'm sharing with you, Congressman, is that the is drawn, for it. Appreciate that, that is drawn from my memorandum. Right. So, is it true? The DHS has spent resources and time creating a strategic framework for addressing climate change, including the establishment of the Climate Change Professionals Program. Yes, that is true, and we are addressing one of the most significant threats to the homeland. And we you've also that, we see that yes. in the increasing frequency just and gravity. Just have a couple seconds, right? Yeah, yes, we see that so in the, the question was a yes or no. I appreciate you answering the question. You said yes, you did. Next we, question. We see that in did the you issue gravity and frequency. Right, I understand of that. That's disasters. your rationale. But but you and I have had this discussion. Okay, so did you also release uh, the first ever equity action plan? Yes, and very proudly so. Great. So here's the deal, uh, Mr. Secretary. Um, well, let me just ask you another question. This is, I think, this is an interesting question too. Um, will you commit to oppose any form of amnesty or modification of legal status of those who are in this country illegally who have entered during your tenure? Only, only uh, Congress can provide uh, legal status through the laws. We administer the laws. Would Congress you oppose passes. that? We're, we're not talking about who passes laws or not. We're just talking about your philosophy as the DHS secretary. Uh, Would you support amnesty or modification of legal status? Uh, uh, Congressman, uh, I fully support and have for many years legislative reform that once okay. and for all fixes our broken immigration so I'll, system. So I'll take it that, that um, you won't make that statement now. No, no, I actually will if you would allow me. And you, you, we, involves, we got just a few okay. seconds, so speed it up, please. And, and that involves a path to citizenship for those who have been in this country for many okay. years, who have been contributing Very good. to the so well-being of our country. So the answer is you would support amnesty of some kind. So you said that you would that the border's closed and secure. You've, you've said today you're following every law. You, you understand, don't you, that the law, Secure Fence Act of 2006, you're in total violation of that. Operational control. You don't have the border under operational control, do you? Section two, what does it say? It says, in this section, operational control means the prevention of all unlawful entries into the U.S., including entries by terrorists, et cetera. You're not preventing entries. You're fomenting interesting entries. You're encouraging it. You're either accepting the Biden administration, and if that's the case, then you should be impeached. 
If you disagree with the Biden administration's program, you should re resign. That's where we are. Would the gentleman yield? Would the gentleman yield? Uh, Mr. Deutsch. 